The first time I discovered the Rhodes piano sound was when I heard the theme of the Taxi TV series in the late 70s. That warm, soulful, distinctive sound captured my imagination immediately. I could only afford to buy a Rhodes 15 years later, and ever since, I could not live without one. In fact, you're looking at my very own Mark II. The Rhodes piano story goes back to the 1940s when Harold Rhodes was working for the American Air Force in World War II. He thought it would be nice to teach piano to the injured soldiers as a rehabilitation activity at the military hospital. But to get a full-sized piano at the ward was impossible. So Harold came up with the concept of a lightweight, piano-like instrument based on a simple fork mechanism combined with a tuning fork of some kind. But again, where do you get the necessary material to build a piano in a war zone? So, Clever Harold resorted to an unlikely source of metal parts. Disabled B-17 planes. He could put together a rudimentary keyboard instrument, and even though the first model was quite crude, the soldiers loved it. In fact, the instrument was so successful that Harold was put in charge of the music instruction rehabilitation program in all of the Air Force hospitals. And by the end of the 1950s, Harold had partnered up with Leo Fender to develop and manufacture the Rhodes Piano. The first model was the Rhodes Piano Bass, released in 1959 and made famous by The Doors. But it wasn't until 1965 that the first full 73 notes keyboard was released on the market. The Fender Rhodes MK1 Suitcase Electric Piano. So, what's inside a Rhodes piano? Let's find out. So, the whole mechanism isn't too dissimilar from the one of a real piano, except each one of these tines is the equivalent of a tuning fork like the one that I showed you before. The hammer hits the tine. The tine vibrates, and that vibration is captured by the pickups, just like in an electric guitar. The dynamic range on a Rhodes piano is incredible. It can sound like water. and it can sound like fire. The Rhodes piano was revolutionary. For the first time in history, keyboard players could bring their own portable piano on the road. Granted, it would take a couple of guys to shove it in the back of a van every night, but the Rhodes sounded infinitely better than the average battered old piano that you would find in clubs. And with a suitcase amplifier, it could give guitar players a run for their money. Rhodes Mania caught like wildfire, fueled by early adoption of music superstars such as Miles Davis, Stevie Wonder, Herbie Hancock, and the Beatles. The Rhodes must have been one of the most used piano sounds in the history of recorded music. In the description, you can find a list of famous songs and artists who have used this marvelous instrument. 
Personally, I have used my rose on nearly every record that I've made as an artist. I will leave links to those as well. The story of the Rhodes is far from finished. In fact, let me share with you some massive news. The Rhodes Mark VIII is being built as we speak. This is incredible and I could not be more excited, especially because the kind people at the Rhodes Music Group decided to sponsor videos on this very channel. Thank you, Rhodes. I cannot say too much about it, but here's what I'm gonna say. This new Rhodes will have a very high specs keyboard, it will have an all analog signal path and it will have an analog effects section with advanced tone control. The thing that you should really do right now is click on the link in the description, get to the Rhodes website and keep updated with all the news that will be coming up in the next months. You really want to be up to date and also you want to be subscribed to this channel because there will be more Rhodes videos coming. Trust me, you really don't want to miss out. I hope you enjoyed this video, I really love you and I invite you to check out this next. Thank you.